Hello guys, this is Dan and welcome back to the Twist Network. Um, today um, I've got another Tech It tutorial for you guys, it's a Tech It plugin tutorial. Um, and today we are going to be covering World Edit. So, the first off thing I need to uh, get clear with you guys is that every command will be started off uh, by using a, for a double forward slash and then your executable command. So in this case I uh, spawned the one. So for this tutorial um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to expand regions, um, set regions, um, or sorry, set and expand areas, and then also copy, paste, uh, etc. So left clicking sets our first position and right clicking sets our second position. Like that. And that setting is a cube, so if you imagine a cube uh, you click the left one up here, and then the right one down here, and you get that, that cube shape which traces the outline. The problem is we've just selected the bottom layer, so we've only selected this one by one radius, not one by one radius, this one level radius. Now we need to expand it, so forward slash, forward slash, expand, and then we want to expand the region eight blocks up, so forward slash, forward slash, expand eight up, or U. 4 slash 4 slash expand 8 D down and then it's been expanded 0 blocks out there. Okay, so once we just double check that. Also, once, once we've expanded that, we're going to do 4 slash forward slash copy. Um, I'm going to stand at the front door because it, it copies it relative to your position of the corner that's selected. So 4 slash forward slash copy. Like so. Ooh, like that, and then we'll come over here and forward slash, forward slash, paste. And you will see in a second, shall paste uh, the area, hopefully. I am. <clears throat> I don't know how my toggle set <laughs> like a new. So yeah, just repeat those commands and then forward slash forward slash copy. Blocks are copied and then forward slash forward slash paste. Um, it's even copied this. Uh, so what we can do here now is uh select the region again. Um, and then I'm going to select. Uh, yeah. Two. Yeah. Um. Four slash four slash set. Um. Actually, four slash four slash replace water sand. Um. We're just gonna replace it with water with sand. And then we'll expand ten down. Four slash four slash replace water sand. Like so, and oh, put a little dodgy, and there we go. We just replace that. Um, so that's two commands I showed you: the um, copy and replace command. Uh, now I'll quickly show you the cut command. Um, works the same way as copy. So we're just going to select our area, <coughs> expand the area, and then we should be able to um, do the same as before. So we'll do expand ten up forward slash forward slash cut and uh, bam we've cut the area uh, and then we can do forward slash forward slash undo to undo that uh, and then if we have the same area um, we can also do this so if we did here um, select this block here uh, to say that block there we can do forward slash forward slash expand down um, forward slash forward slash expand Vert, and that's gone from all the way up to the bottom, all the way down to the bottom, so all the way from the top. And we do replace all, uh, oh, maybe not, replace, uh, sorry about that. Um, we're just going to replace everything within that region with air. 
including bedrock. Um, so now we have a giant problem because we have an absolutely freaking huge hole. Um, and there's an easy way of fixing that. Um, so we just select the region again. Um, just for demonstration. And we do forward slash forward slash regen. And it's just going to regenerate the world since the last save. So bam, the world will be regenerated. Like this. Hopefully I'll start being regenerated. Um somehow I just fell through that. Force us force slash regen. Should regenerate the world, the area. Uh you can see it's all coming back. Oh right, it's made out of sand, no bedrock. Okay. <laughs> uh <laughs> that was a problem. Um yeah. Uh, it would regen the world, but there's no bedrock, and the area was made out of sand, so it's not regening the sand. So I'm just going to replace air with stone. Like this, and just going to go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Um, so we just filled the hole. Okay, so the next one we're going to be doing here is the. I've shown you the replace command, copy the cut the paste command, uh, and something else, can't remember. So now I'm going to show you how to do a. Um, a, a, like a square. So here we've got a selected our area, so it's going to be 4 slash 4 just expand 10 up, and then we're going to go um, outline gold. Um, sorry, set, no, outline gold. There you go, and we just made ourselves a 10 by 5 high gold block, or 6, sorry. Um, but this is just an outline, so inside it's hollow. Boom. Okay, so now we could also do another command. So if I just undo that, we can do forces for us as um, walls gold. And it basically does the same principle, except it doesn't do the floor or the roof with gold. Whereas if we take this command again, um, outline, it does the floor and the walls gold and the ceiling. Okay, so that's the sort of um, cuboid um, covered. We'll just do our final one, which is um, the cylinder, and then I'll also be showing you how to set um, positions without using the wand. So first, we'll do the cylinder. So we'll select our two points again, uh, like so, and I'll stand in the middle. And it's basically you type four slash h y uh, h c y l um, hollow cylinder, and then we'll do the radius, which we want five, ten, and bam. Oh no. My bad. So we do hollow H C Y L, which is for hollow cylinder. Uh, we do the block, which I forgot about. Um, so we do gold. We do the radius, <coughs> and then we can also do the height if we want. Um, so we want the radius, say five and by ten, and we give ourselves a hollow cylinder, like so. Uh, alternatively, I could have done this if I undo that action, like so. Uh, I could have done C Y L, which is cylinder, and then gold, and then. Um, I think what's going five ten, and it's gonna make a solid block, kind <laughs> of like so. A solid cylinder. Um, this method uh, I've used before the cylinder method to create um uh outp outposts for castles and stuff, so that's pretty handy. Um, I think there's also one more which is Sphere, um, I'm not too sure, I can't really remember. I'll have a quick go for you guys, so what's the source of that? Um, sphere, yeah, Sphere, um, Gold, 5, uh, by 5, 5, oops, Sphere by 5, 5 by 5, sorry, Gold, 5 by 5. There we go. It should degenerately make a 5x5 five five sphere. Yeah, it has. Uh, so then you make yourselves a little like dome. Um, I'm guessing this command would work. So if I did forces force slash undo. And then I did forces force slash h sphere gold 5. 
I made myself a hollow sphere, like so. Um, so that that's about it, guys. Um, the last thing I want to show you quickly is the H H pos and H uh, H pos two. Um, so this you can look at a block and set a position. So I'm just gonna look over here. Pos that's what is H pos one, and I'm gonna look over there. H pos two. Pos that's what is expand two up. Um, walls stone. Uh, as you'll see, it's going to generate a square made out of stone, and I didn't even have to move at all, um, like that. Hopefully, it should generate that. There we go. Um, <clears throat> so that's basically it, guys. Um, I've shown you as much as possible. Um, in I can do in a in a specific tutorial. If you've got any more questions or anything else you want uh, to ask, just put that in the comments below. And I should be able to answer your questions and hopefully give you some help. Um, I used to use World Edit quite a lot, so um, yeah, I know pretty much uh, everything. <laughs> Sounds quite uh, boring, but yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.